Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Customizing Title Blocks webinar. My name is Nick, and I'll be doing the presentation with you today. Just like all of our previous webinars, everybody will be on mute. But if you do happen to have any questions at any point during our class, please feel free to go ahead and type that into the questions and answers section. And at the end of the class, I will go through and answer any questions that may have come up. Also, at the end of the class, I will be sending out an email that's going to contain a document that covers everything that we're going to be covering in today's class. And should you happen to have any questions while going over that document, please don't hesitate. You can reach out to our support department and we'll be happy to help you out. So again, today's class is on customizing title blocks. So what we're going to be essentially covering in today's class is we're going to be taking a look at the title block title blocks that are actually automatically associated to your worksheet spaces in Envisioneer. These are going to be a 24 by 36 size, uh, 30, 24 by 36 inch size sheet of paper that we are applying these title blocks to. You can also adjust these to be any uh, size that you would like, and we can do that in a couple of different ways. So part of your default catalog with Envisioneer is going to include several different sizes of title blocks that you can insert. And Envisioneer ships with many title block options in DWG format. You can also bring in any custom blocks in DWG format that you may have already created. So we're going to be taking a look at inserting title blocks, and then we're also going to be looking at editing title blocks in today's class. So first, let's look at inserting a title block. So there are alternate title blocks that ship with Envisioneer that you can insert into your worksheet space to use instead of the standard 24 by 36 option that we uh, present in our standard templates. So let's go to a working drawing sheet. So I'm just going to select the floor plan option. And once I select the floor plan option, we are now no longer working in our model view. We are now in a 2D environment, which is going to be our worksheets. And in this worksheet, we can see that there is a title block already included. And if I select on that title block, we can see that the block name that's associated to this title block is title block 24 by 36. And we can see visually that this is in a landscape format. But let's say we want to add in a different title block. Maybe we still want it to be a 24 by 36 size sheet, but we want it to be in a portrait format instead of a landscape format. So what we can do there is we can go up, and I'm just going to leave this title block in for a moment. And we're going to go up, and we're going to select Inserts, Blocks. And then we're just going to select the, or sorry, Import CAD file, sorry, uh, Import CAD file. And we're going to select the Title Blocks folder. And inside the title blocks folder, we can use any one of these title blocks. Now, again, these are just title blocks that we ship with the program. You can use any one of these. You can add your own. If you have custom ones, you can add to this list as well. And then you can see the actual location of where this is stored. So if you want to add your title blocks into this list, you can just simply navigate to this location and paste your uh, title blocks in here. So as you can see, we have a list of different sizes. We're going to select the D1I, sorry, the D1 size DWG file. And then I'm just going to simply select open. This is going to bring up the import dialog box. Now in this import dialog box, we shouldn't need to make any adjustments. It should be to the correct scale already. So we're not going to make any adjustments to the scale. But I just want you to take notice of the different uh, controls in here. You may have seen this dialog before. It is going to be very similar to when you're inserting a DWG file into your worksheets, or if you're inserting a PDF, this is going to look very similar to you. Again, we don't need to adjust the scale, but if you ever have to, you can adjust the width and the height, and you can adjust the X and the Y values as needed as well. We're then just going to simply select Insert, and this is going to bring up the Edit Block Attributes. Now, this dialog 
pops up because the block that we have that we are inserting or the dwg file that we are inserting has edited attributes associated to it this just allows us to edit the information upon insertion of that dwg file so i can change the project address the project name the client name i can adjust the sheet number the scale the date, all of this can be adjusted upon, upon insertion. So I'm just gonna adjust this to be uh, today's date. So I'm just gonna make this uh, May 2024. Uh, we'll leave everything else the same and I'm just gonna say, okay. And then once I say, okay, I'm going to get a new title block. And when I place it in, it's going to be in the portrait format. So I can delete the old title block out and I can see that new title block with the new date has been added in. That's how you can insert a title block. Now you can also insert title blocks in other ways as well. So we went up and we went to the insert and we went to the import CAD file option. We can also insert title blocks as blocks. And what we've done with the template in Envisioneer is we've associated all of the different size title blocks to the actual file itself. So if I go and I select insert blocks and I just say insert block, I'm gonna get the block name. And if I use the drop down, there's going to be a bunch of different size title blocks available to me. So if I wanted to insert an 11 by 17 title block, I'm again going to get the edit attributes. I can say, okay. And I'm now inserting a title block that's gonna be suitable for an 11 by 17 size sheet of paper. Again, if you want to adjust it, you can just simply select insert block, select the size. And if we wanna go larger, we can say a 36 by 48 and we can say, okay and we're gonna get a larger size title block. So these are gonna be inserted as actual blocks. And again, those are gonna be found underneath the uh, insert block option. And again, these are gonna be associated to the template that ships with Envisioneer. If you've based your templates off of our template, then you will have the same title blocks available to you that you can edit as well. And that's gonna bring us to editing a title block. So I'm just gonna delete these two out. This is gonna leave us with our portrait option. And so again, we're gonna be now looking at editing our title blocks. Now, title blocks consist of lines, text, images, and attributes. And you can edit its individual components or you can add objects to it. Any changes or additions you make are automatically saved to the block's definition, and any instances of the block in your entire project are gonna be automatically updated. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna say edit undo, I'm just gonna control Z back to our original title block, because I wanna edit this title block to show you uh, what happens when we edit an existing title block. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to simply select the title block. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look to the right hand side. And on the right hand side, I can see that there is a option called definition and there is an option called attributes. I can also see the block name. Now the block name is not something that can be changed. So once the file is created, that name is forever its name. You can't adjust that. But we can adjust the definition and the attributes. Now, the definition is what we're going to look at first. So let's select the edit definition option. So all we're doing is going to click on the edit option. It may not look like anything happened, but what we've actually done is we've gone inside of that block. You're going to see a dotted line around the title block that lets you know that you are now inside of that definition. And if I hit escape on the keyboard, which gets us out of the definition, we can see that that dotted line disappears and our text adjusts as well. So again, if you select a title block, edit definition, 
you're now inside of that actual title block. And what we're able to do here is we're not only able to adjust the lines that are in here, but we're also able to adjust text and any images that may be in here as well. So as an example, let's say we want to um, add in some extra lines to our title block. So I'm going to select this line here. I'm going to go right click, duplicate. And I'm just going to duplicate this line down. And I'm going to go down, let's just go 19 feet. And I'm going to hit Enter. So that creates a new line within that title block area. And I still have a line associated. So I'm just going to move this one down to here. And I'm just going to say Finish. I can move this line up or down using my arrow keys. Again, I'm just creating new portions using the line command. Uh, within my uh, title block. Not only can I add lines in, but I can also get rid of lines. Maybe I don't need any of this revision information. So I'm just gonna select it all and I'm just gonna delete it out. Maybe I want to separate it so that it looks very similar to this. So I'm gonna get rid of this line. I'm gonna select this line, duplicate. And I'm just gonna duplicate it from there so that I get the same width of opening. And then I'm just gonna select these two lines. I can type in TR on my keyboard, or I can go up to tools, uh, sorry, modify, and I can select the uh, trim option right here. And I can then select these two lines to remove them out. So I'm basically just changing the look of that title block by adding lines, deleting lines, and creating the different spaces for that particular title block that I want to create. But not only can I adjust the lines within this attribute or within this title block, I can also adjust images. So let's say I don't want to use the CAD soft uh, file for my image. I want to use uh, my company information. So I'm going to select all of this. I'm just going to delete that all out. And actually, I'm going to go edit, undo. I'm just going to look at the size of this. So if I go into its properties, um, we can see, uh, sorry, we can't do that. So we're just going to delete this out. And we're going to go DI on our keyboard. And we're going to measure this out. So I can see that the width of this is 15 feet by uh, we'll say eight feet. So the image that I want to import in here needs to be in that size to be able to uh, fit properly. So now all I have to do is go up to inserts. I can select the import image file and under my import image file, if I go to my uh, documents and I go to, uh, I should have pictures. Do I have an image file here? We'll just use this one here. We'll say, okay. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make sure that the dimming is off. I don't want it dimmed. And I want this to be at a certain size. So I want the width to be 15 feet and I want the height to be eight feet. And that's gonna give us the size of our image file. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to say insert. And now attached to my cursor is going to be that new image file. And that's my new logo that I want to include in my title blocks. So now we've adjusted the lines that make up the title block. We've adjusted the image for our company logo. Now we're going to be taking a look at attributes. So I'm going to hit escape on my keyboard. By pressing escape, you are now exiting out of the definition. So now any changes that you've made should now be reflected on all of your other worksheets that show that particular title block. So if I go to elevations, I'm going to see the adjustments to the title block on all of these sheets. Because I updated the original uh, block, it's going to update all of my sheets for me. If I go back to the floor plan 
and I select the title block again, on the right hand side, we can see that there is also an edit attributes. Now, attributes are just text that is attached to a block that changes with each insertion of a particular block. For example, like we did, you can adjust, uh, sorry, you can add attributes to a title block that prompts the designer's name, the current date, or the drawing sheet number each time someone inserts a title block into your drawing. For each separate insertion of the block, you can have unique attribute text values. So each title block can have its own sheet number as an example. This is what makes them different than just adding in text. Each insertion of a block that has text will have the exact same text on all of the sheets. But each insertion of a block that has an attribute can all be different. So what we mean by that is if I zoom in, this is an example of plain text. So when I go to edit the definition and I click on it, it is just text. And this text is going to be reflected on every sheet. It does not change. So if I go to the elevations, it's the exact same text. Same with the orientation and the stamp. Same with the general notes. But on each sheet, I want to have a different sheet number. Or maybe I want a different scale or a different name. Those, that information is what we will link up with an attribute. So if I go back to my floor plan sheet and I zoom in and I select edit definition, we can see that we have some attributed text that have different uh, prefixes to them. So here we can see drawing name. And when I click on drawing name, I can see that the contents show up and it's giving me the actual uh, drawing name itself. If I click on the project name, again, I can see the contents show up with a dollar sign and then the project name. Now, if I click on the uh, edit option here, we're going to see that it brings up the edit attribute dialog. This is the type of attribute that we are going to be editing. So right now we can see that it has a tag of dollar sign project underscore name. And these are going to be different attributes that you can link up and it will automatically apply it. So again, it's just going to show whatever we have defined, it will then populate that for us. These attributes are a little bit different. If I select this attribute and I click on the edit option, these are again going to use a uh, edit attribute dialog. And again, it's going to show me a tag, but it's going to prompt me with a, a, a message saying, this is for the sheet name. And then you can type in whatever you want that sheet name to be. And again, this can change depending on the sheet that you're working. So right now, when I look at floor plan, it shows floor plan. When I go to elevations, it shows elevations. If I click on it and I click edit attributes, I can type in whatever I want for that particular sheet. Now, these values here are linked differently. So this information right here is going to be different in any new project, but it's going to be the same on every sheet. So while this text will be the same every single time I insert my title block, this text will be different every time I start a new drawing, and this information will change every time I insert it onto a new sheet. So there's three layers of text here that you can adjust uh, depending on, again, what you're trying to display. This text is related to the project. So if we go up to File, Project Manager, this text is what is going to link to the attributes that we're looking at right here. So here we can see it says hashtag project name. So I want this to be Bob's house. So I'm just going to go Bob's house. The client is going to be Bob. The address is going to be uh, 123 Fake Street. And we're going to be in uh, Guelph. So when I update this and I say, okay, 
it's updated my working drawing sheet for me, or sorry, it's updated my title block on my working drawing sheet, but it's done it for every single worksheet. And anytime I add in a new sheet, so if I go in and say, add a worksheet, so I got a blank worksheet, I can go up and I can say, insert block. I can say, insert my 24 by 36. I can say this is going to be A5, and we're just gonna call this electrical plan. And we'll actually name this E1 for electrical, and then we'll say okay, and okay. And then attached to my cursor is going to be that new title block. And again, it's gonna use all of the information based off of the title block that we were currently editing. And it's only gonna be a part of this drawing file. So these changes that you're making, if you want to create your own title blocks for your own uh, worksheets, you will want to make these changes in your template file. So that way they are always stored in that template file. Every time you start a new drawing, it's going to start with the basics that uh, we are looking at and then it can be updated as you work with it. If we want to make an adjustment to any of these, so like I mentioned, I can select the edit attributes option. And again, you can type in whatever you want. Or if you want to adjust or remove an attribute, you're gonna to need to edit the definition. So again, we can just select edit definition and I can say, well, on these drawing sheets, I don't need to show a drawing sub name, so I can just delete that out and it will get rid of it. I can also update the text. So I can just say, I want this to be, uh, we're gonna adjust this. This isn't an attribute. This is gonna be just our plain text here. And we're just gonna go with a month instead of a month and a day. And then we're just gonna go 2024. We're gonna say, okay. And again, when we hit escape, it's going to update all of our sheets to show that information. So now we can see the date has changed, but the drawing sub name is still here. And that's because this title block, edit that definition, uh, we might need to just update it and it will now update to show that new change. So you can, again, adjust the views uh, by just simply selecting the title block, selecting the information, uh, moving things around, deleting information out. And again, you may just need to refresh by just editing the definition so that it shows the correct um, attributes for the pages that you're working on. And again, we're just going to update this sheet as well. And then we can just hit escape to exit out to update our view. Again, if you are working on a template, I do always recommend making the changes to your templates, especially on the working drawing sheets, doing a zoom to fit so that everything is back to its original position and doing that for every sheet. And then again, once you're done, you would save this as your template drawing. And you would then be able to load that like we have shown in the past. So that way you are currently always using the correct template that will then reflect the uh, title block information that you want to display. The only other thing I want to show you in here is we're just going to go back into uh, this view here. You can see we're still inside the definition, so I'm just going to hit escape on there. I'm just going to go back into my uh, floor plan. And when it comes to editing, again, you cannot only just edit the text itself. You can also adjust the way the text is being displayed. So you can adjust it to be 
bold italic. You can change the color, the size. You can have it adjusting the uh, left or right or center justification. So again, you can fine tune exactly how you want the text to be displayed. Uh, so it's reflected the same on every single sheet uh, in your title block. I'm just gonna leave mine as it is. I'm just gonna hit cancel. But again, you are not only able to adjust the actual verbiage that you see, but you can also adjust the style of the text itself. So that covers everything that I wanted to show you in regards to editing a title block. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open up the question section. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and enter those in and I will do my best to answer those for you. Uh, so a question here is to save a title block sheet, you highlight the full sheet, which appears in a green line. Um, no, so what you're doing here is we're adjusting our template drawing. So if you are trying to create your own working drawing sheets with your own title blocks, you're going to be starting with a template drawing. And what you're going to do from there is you're going to simply just select the title block, which highlights in green. So that part is correct. That lets you know that you have that title block selected. And then you're just going to edit the definition and the attributes to reflect what you want your title block to look like, like we covered in today's class. Once you exit out of all of this, you're then gonna go up and you're gonna say file, save as, and we're gonna save this as a template file. So I'm just gonna go up and say, um, we're gonna call this one uh, under, we're gonna save this to my C drive, program data, CAD soft, division year 16, and templates. And we're gonna call this one uh, a webinar. Oops, that cat block's on there. And then we're gonna hit, and under options, we can control what we want this file to look like. Uh, you can then just basically adjust what you want that to uh, either use the last open view or you can use an image file. And then you simply just say save. And now what you've done is you've created a template drawing and that title block is now a part of that template. So when I start a new drawing and I go file new, I'm gonna have that webinar. I can say create. And when I start a new drawing, we're just gonna close this one down. I'm going to go file, close, file, new, select our webinar template. And now in that template file, we're going to have all of the new changes that we've made to that title block. So we're not saving the title block independently. You can. You can also take this title block and export it out as a DWG file. And you can say file export 2D drawing, and we're just gonna go up to our desktop and we're just gonna say uh, webinar title block. Oops. And then we're just gonna hit save, export successful. And then if we go file new again, and let's just go to a brand new sheet that doesn't have this title block in it, we could then import that title block in. So I can go back into my working drawing sheet. I can then say, I want to delete this one out and I want to insert a new one or import a CAD file. I'm just gonna go to my desktop and we're going to select that webinar. And what it's going to do is it's going to, again, give me the ability to adjust its size. And we're just going to say insert. And then I can adjust the attributes. And I can say OK. 
and I can place that title block in. So again, it really depends on what you're trying to create. Ideally, you want to be doing this as a uh, template. So that way it's always a part of your drawing file uh, whenever you start a new drawing. Uh, follow up question is that so by saving the title block, you can bring it up in your working drawings and use it as a floor plan. Um, yeah, you can use the title block to, on any of the sheets that you want. So it can be your floor plan sheet. It could be an elevation sheet. Uh, you would just need to update the text to reflect what you want that new sheet um, to be. So that way it's reflecting that new information. So be it an electrical plan, an elevation, uh, you would just adjust the text within that title block. So I'm going to pause there for just a moment to see if anybody has any other questions or any follow up questions to what we've covered in today's class. While I'm waiting for any questions to come in, I'm just going to reiterate that I will be sending out an email at the end of our class. And in that email, you're going to get a document that, again, covers everything that we've talked about. So you can try this out on your own. Um, and if you have any questions while doing that, you can reach out to our support department and they'll be happy to help you out. All right, perfect. Well, again, I'm just gonna pause for just a moment just to see if anybody has any follow-up questions or any other questions about what we've talked about today. So another question is, the saved title block can be used for any working drawing sheet, et cetera, where you can insert the model view drawings. Yes, uh, saved title block can be used on any working drawing sheet. Um, it just has information that you would need to update upon its insertion. So as in the title block that I just saved, it had it set up to be a floor plan. I would insert it. So if I go back to the insert, um, sorry, insert CAD file, if I'm exporting it out as a CAD file, then this is the way you're going to do it. If you set up your template, then it should already be set up in each of your sheets because each one of these sheets will have the title block in it already. But if you're starting from scratch and you just want to insert one title block per sheet, then you select the location of where that title block is, select it, open. Right now we're inserting it on the floor plan sheet. So we're going to keep it at floor plan. We're going to insert it and we're going to make sure it says floor plan and we're going to get rid of that. All of this will keep the same. We'll say okay and okay. And now on that sheet, I have that floor plan. If I go to elevations and I want to use that title block again, but on the elevation sheet, I'll delete out the old one. I will insert the new one, insert CAD file back to my desktop, or if you're saving it to the template or sorry, to the title blocks folder, select it. And then in here, when I say insert, uh, this is going to, yes. So on this one, we are going to insert it. And this one is going to be, uh, elevations. And we're going to say OK. And we're going to insert this one into our view. And then we're going to edit the attributes on this one. So we're going to say elevations. And So now we have our floor plan, we have our elevations, and then you would continually on each sheet add in the title block and then adjust its uh, attributes themselves. So that's 
how you would do it if you want to individually add in a title block on each of your sheets. If you've already started a drawing, then that's the way you would do it. If you are starting from creating your own templates, then you're gonna to wanna to edit the template to reflect what you want to see. So I'm just gonna pause there for just another moment to see if that answers all of those questions. And again, like I mentioned, I will be sending out an email very soon that will, again, contain the document that covers everything that we've talked about. I'm just going to pause for just a moment again, just to see if anybody's finishing up. Um, if you are typing out a longer question, if you just want to raise your hand so I know that you are working on a question, um, I will pause here for a moment to see. Perfect. So again, just to reiterate, I just want to make sure that it's clear. Ideally, you want to have a template drawing set up that has your title blocks already assigned to it. So that way, anytime you start a new drawing, the title blocks are done for you. You don't have to insert a title block. You don't have to edit a title block. It's going to be done uh, for you at the very beginning because you've already edited it within the template. However, if you've already started a drawing and you want to create a new title block for that drawing, or if you have a custom title block that you need for a particular project, then you would need to create the title block you can export it out as a DWG file and um, use it in future projects, um, or you can create a new template with that particular title block. So again, there are different ways of going about it. It really all depends on uh, what you're going to be using that title block for and what your majority of your sheets or whatever the majority of your projects use, you're gonna to want a to template that reflects that. So I do wanna thank everybody for attending today. I do look forward to speaking with you all again very soon. Thank you very much, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day.